All right, so we're doing a scrap run. No, we're not actually going to a scrap yard and getting cash. We are taking the scrap that's in the trailer, running it to the top of a road with a piece of cardboard that's just free scrap on it. Easy? Okay, let's go. Now, we can easily rip off some uh, piece of cardboard somewhere in here. Somewhere in this dumpster fire. Ah, I'm looking at it. There you go. Now, obviously, a workshop is never complete without a more than one Sharpie marker. And no, half of a Sharpie marker doesn't count. Meaning that the cap is gone. I'm really good, it's the king size, because that means it'll stay. No, I'm fucking with you. All right. on this cardboard. All right, let's go. So we have a search sign. Uh, didn't need to take the, take the Sharpie, but uh, yeah. We did really need to take the Sharpie. Come on. All right, now we go load up our scrap. Now, I should get some gloves just because it's rusty. So let's get some gloves. Holy shit, man. All right. Now we're ready to go load up some scrap. Free shit, the favorite kind of shit. Well. Hang on, one last thing. One more thing. No free scrap sign is complete without duct tape. Uh, come on, I know I have the duct tape here somewhere. Duct tape, duct tape. There it is. I'm gonna go up here at their E379RX special. Squeaky McSqueetons. The reason why I say E379RX is because that's the plate that's on it. And that motherfucker needs to slide on over. Yeah, good enough. Alright, get our gloves. Sorry about the bad camera angles, I can't control that. I don't have a tripod, so. Uh, yeah, I'm enjoying this nice warm day, not having to wear no shirts or nothing. It's been it. Alright, let's go. So. Spice your shift. I'm wrenching on the trailer a bit more. But, if we want to go get a late 60s Cub Cadet, we're going to need to empty the mother trucker first. So, yeah. It's kind of rolling. It shouldn't roll too far. Uh, those are important. That's important. Uh, this we can just try. This I think is what I use the sign holder. Uh, fuck, that's heavy. Not too heavy, but it's pretty damn heavy. Alright, next. Old mud runt rims, we can get rid of these. Well, they're actually really new, but 
The system of the mounting is really shitty. It really wore out fast. All right. Now obviously plastic I'm not gonna put there. <laughs> That's an obvious one. But like shit like the muffler that was on the mud runt, that shit you can get some stuff for. This, this you can get some. A lot of people are like, well, it's back on, it's too loud. <laughs> I've gotten used to it. Uh, spring cleaning is supposedly, I think today's the first day of spring, so yeah, spring cleaning you could call it. We're freeing up half the trailer too. Uh, yeah, we can drop those tie rods there. Connecting lumps and shit like that. Even though I should probably hang on to this, I I don't see no use for it. It's just gonna take up space in my shop. Like this shit, I know I don't need. Obviously, we don't need a shot dirt bike spring. By the way, I was driving my dirt bike today. And holy shit, it rides a lot smoother with the new spring on it. That is a wheel hub off of my dad's Pontiac G5, which is in that tent. Its name is Cherry. I'm calling it Rotten Apple because it's really rotten. It's rotting in there. I mean, still cosmetically meant, but I don't know about the underside. Yeah, we can toss that in there. Hey, that was a nice shot. What about that one? Not bad. What about this? Not bad. All right. Strut from that 07 G5. We could toss in there too. I might actually put some of the Mud Runs old junk up there too, like the starter solenoid. Majority of this stuff is dad's truck and car shit. Oh, this one, I think this is the one that had the end that came right out. There's one that had an end. It. Yeah, that, that's the one. The end popped right out. That was fun. It stayed in the tranny too. I think that was from Dad's. It's rusted. That's for sure. I don't know if windshield wipers count. We'll see about that. Kratos is yelling at me now. Brake pads. Yeah, this is all shit people will take, right? Spring go. Alright. Alright. Fan motor. It's got some good source of copper in there, too. Now, this shit gets taken. Now, the majority of it should get taken. Should be. Ugh. Let's see, let's do some more trick shots. Ah, and wheel hub part missed. go over here and just toss it back. Yeah. Yep. Let's see if we can 
Dusty's in there too. Hey, they all went in too. It's part of an old screen. Ugh, I went all over the workstation. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, that can go in there. That went in there too. Man, I'm getting pretty damn lucky today. Uh, all right. Let me crap about in here. I'll take those springs. bring it up there. Who knows? Come on. Come on. Thank you. There it goes. Yeah. Oh, we have some brakes. Some brake rotors. I was say we aren't really done yet. Oh, this is all biodegrading. Oh, it's all decomposing on there. Look at that. Son of a bitch. I'm tripping over my ass. I think one of them is like literally breaking up under there. Oh. You have two hands, you're going to use them. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, they break over the pieces in there. Oh, yeah. That's plastic, no one's gonna take that. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll toss it in there. Put it in the tire. Holy shit, man. I think that's everything that counts as scrap. Besides some oil filters. Toss the oil filter there too. Alright, that's just a box. It's another oil filter. Alright. Let's go. Ugh. Fuck. Well. Let's go for a burn. Is there anything yet? Oh. Now. 
Yeah, it's, it's a little weight. There's a little bit of weight in the back. Bet you if I dumped it, I could pop a little bit of a wheelie. I won't put my money on it. See that? So it's free it up. Pin coming loose. Alright. Now, I'm going to stack this. Biodegrading. I see. Scrapples take these just about anything. I've, I'm guessing. Hoping. And the tire I'm going to use for the sign. The truck stops and he's like, hey, can I take that scrap, man? I'm like, sure, how about it? You can take the sign too. <laughs> I guess I could just toss my sign right back at where it came from. Hope so. This we used to throw scrap up here and this shit would be gone and fucking. Man, seconds, seconds, not really seconds, but you know what I mean. It'd be gone within like the course of half an hour to a few hours, maybe a day, a day if long enough. I mean, there's only like one, two times we had to fucking uh, run to the dump because no one was taking it. I just tossed that on top of it. <laughs> the still here will get trucked. I'll get mulch with the lawnmower. <sighs> My spring cleaning, scrap cleaning. What else here? I know my dad had more than one hub, but I don't care. Comes out more stuff, comes out more stuff. Over. Oh, that scrap. Anything like uh, in here? 
That I snapped off the back of Dad's truck. Besides uh, our sign, we're set. All right. Now. be good enough. And then get her signed some duct tape. It's probably gonna fall off. I know if you do. That should be uh, proper. All right. There's enough stuff here. They do a pretty damn good uh, job of notifying people. Scrappers. And then some guy goes, just the truck doing the trail up the scrap. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't believe how many fucking idiots we've had. My dad tried to get rid of a weed whacker that had a dying uh, crap motor, I think. And they, and they ended up setting it down. <laughs> they could, he forgot to bring it down. Yeah, I say that's a win. You know, let's get a picture. Picture just for the thumbnail. They could do a little bit of a ride. They're gonna protest against me riding up by the road. I'm not on it. Alrighty. Uh, yep. I should probably give the address for people who are interested. I wouldn't be shocked if I get a comment going, hey, is this, is the shit still there? If so, uh, could I have your address to come pick the shit up? Go like a Facebook Marketplace ad, go on Curb Alert, Free Scrap, 711 Old Route 17. I actually put the uh, timestamp of where I am. Uh, I am in Livingston Manor up on Old Route 17. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was told not to take that path. Neighbor's trying to move out. And she looked, seemed pretty damn sad. I was ripping it up. And I was like, yeah, shit. And I was like, yeah, I, I, 
I can fix it for you. You know, you don't have to pay anybody to fix this shit. I'll, I'll look into fixing it for you when I get a chance. Like, fuck. <laughs> I didn't know she had intention of moving the hell out this year. You know? Yeah. Yep. 621, what do you say? We go on and get some fucking grub. Wait, 621? The sun's still out? Am I hallucinating? Oh yeah, it's that time of fucking season again. Ah, alright. We did pretty damn good work of that. A lot of trickle in. Too fucking... I can probably make it. Yeah, I can actually go back. All right. So, if you're wondering about the curb alert, the I'm in Livingston Manor, New York, and the address is 7110 17. Don't go knocking on the damn door. Just go there, grab the scrap, and go. But, yeah. All right. Curb alert. Good luck.